What's up, people? Another GOAT reaction. We about to watch this Undisputed. Kyrie getting traded to the Boston Celtics. Let's see what they talking about. Hopefully this is good. You had a lot to talk about last night on Twitter, Skip. This is the start of a really bad week for you. <laughs> no, 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 no. First, Kyrie. Wait, wait a second. Did this really happen? Kyrie Irving wound up with the Boston Celtics, your chief rival? Oh, really? Where, 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 How could that happen? Where is LeBron playing next year? Whoa. What and, did they go say? And now, wait, Conor McGregor's going to dethrone Man. Floyd Mayweather Jr. on Saturday night? This is, is going to be a rough one. You don't even believe that. Well, you, actually, you do, but I, don't worry about it. Yeah. Here we are. Troll. What's in that cup? Make, turn that cup on. Make sure that There's never knows. anything okay. in that cup. Just making sure, because sometimes you be saying something crazy. People be like, Skip, had to be drinking. shell game over here? <laughs> Good morning, guys. Boxing legend Sugar Ray Leonard will be here later to talk about Connor and Floyd, but we have to start with the huge yeah, NBA trade. Damn, Kyrie legends, Irving man, for what, man? Was traded to the Celtics yesterday for a package that includes Isaiah Thomas and Jay Crowder in Brooklyn's 2018 first round pick. A Kyrie move has been talked about since he reportedly requested a trade from Cleveland last month. LeBron tweeted afterwards, nothing but respect and what a ride it was. Let's take a listen to Celtics president Danny Ainge on the big move. This has obviously been a roller coaster of a day for us, trading away Isaiah and Jay and Ante, especially Isaiah and Jay, who have been such a big part of our team and our success and our, our Celtic culture as leaders of our team. Very, very difficult day. And at the same time, you know, a, a very exciting time for one of the best offensive players in the league. It is a high price tag, you know, acquiring a 25-year-old perennial all-star, a player that fits a timeline for us and is a fantastic offensive player, Damn, one of the best offensive players in the That's league. Crazy. You have to pay a heavy price. Shannon, who won the trade? Uh, uh, you have to think about it. No, yeah. there's no thinking for me. Of yeah. course the it was The Cavaliers Cleveland. won the trade because they're operating from a, a position of weakness. Think about this. It was known that Kyrie did not want to play any longer in Cleveland. And he voiced his displeasure saying, I do not want to play alongside LeBron or I want to get out of his shadow. So now Cleveland really doesn't have a choice. They have to move him. Everybody knows they have to move him. Hmm. And for them to get, you trade Kyrie. And you notice uh, uh, what Danny Ainge kept saying. He's a tremendous offensive player. He's a tremendous Offensive player. Mm. Oh, well, damn. They just play mm. offense. So I, I mean, I thought basketball, you play both ways, Skip, but I'm not here nor there. I'm going to let you have your time. This is my mm. time to shine. Yeah. The Cavaliers won this trade because you get, you swap Isaiah for Kyrie. You get a defensive player <clears throat> in Crowder. Mm. But the most important thing, yeah. you get the Brooklyn Nets unprotected first round pick in 2018's draft. Mm. Now, that was a pick that Danny yeah. Ainge was unwilling to relent. To get Paul George, duh. To get Jimmy Butler, duh. But he wanted Kyrie. Mm -hmm. Wish him the best. But you still got LeBron. You still got Kevin Love. Mm. You bring in Isaiah. Now, Skip, you keep everybody keep talking about. Well, Isaiah's a tremendous offensive weapon. I mean, uh, Kyrie's a tremendous offensive weapon. It is no slouch. Oh. He was second team All NBA. Facts. Oh. What team was Kyrie last year? Mm. Oh, none. Oh. Uh, who finished fifth? Isaiah in the Thomas football? can score, man. Oh, Hopefully he's healthy, good. though. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. We got him too. Mm. So now, not only do you we get don't an know the brother healthy or not, Kyrie, man. Come on, you man, get a defensive it. guy, and you get some depth. That was the most important thing because Skip, you remember last year? You watched mm -hmm. the finals. Yeah. Man, they had the corpse's bride out there, mm -hmm. Darren Williams. <laughs> yeah. Stacking mm. up the joint. I thought you loved. Stop him. it, Skip. I did like it at the time. Sometimes people get married and they love the mm -hmm. person they married. Yep. And then 72 days later, Tim Kardashian. Mm -hmm. Chris what did you call it, a game changer? Yeah, he was. I thought he was going to be a game. Yeah, he he changed did. The he game. changed it for the other team. Because as soon like as he I came, am. come in the game, Boy, you know what was happening. Skip, considering that the Cavaliers really had no strength here, everybody knew Kyrie wanted to go, and they didn't get fleeced like the Indiana Pacers. Because think about oh. this, Skip. Indiana Pacers gave up Paul George who's a legit player. He's a top 15 player. And you get back Victor Ol Oladipo and Sabonis with no draft pick? Mm. At least the Cavaliers from a position of weakness. It's like you being a hostage. You negotiate with the hostage, uh, uh, the guy that's holding you hostage, and he end up giving you a ransom. You're yeah. like, whoa, how did that happen? I'm supposed to be giving you the ransom. You turn around and give me the ransom, and I get to go. So the Cavaliers won this pick. 
And Vegas says, guess what, Vegas? You love Vegas. You know them odds makers? Cavaliers are still 4 to 1. You know why they're still 4 to 1, Skip? Mm. 6 foot 8, mm. 250. Oh, here we go. 12 30, 1984. Uh, immaculate. As, long as, out, as long as yeah. he's there. Yeah. Eight of the last 12 years, yeah. Skip, the team that guy's been on has just done what, Skip? They've been the Eastern Conference representative in what, Skip? Tell it, Skip. I need you to tell it. That's about to end. Oh, it ain't about to nothing. Mm -hmm. Yep, that's about you will, to you end. Wanna, you going to put some dew on that? By the way, this is LeBron's 15th year coming up. 15. 15. Woo. Got five more good ones to go. Yeah. What did he tweet the other day? Something about savage workout. Oh, I don't know. It's scary. No, 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 no. He say, I feel so good. It's scary. Scary. Scary, right? Well, now he's just flat out scared. ED, scared. So, Shannon, that was your best attempt at spin doctor that you've had so far on oh, the like that, that was a really nice attempt. So you're saying we, Cleveland, won the trade yeah. from a position of weakness. So yeah. translation is, hey, it was the best we could get under the circumstances, right? That's not exactly That was a good trade, man. Trade. Skip, Chill we got a guy that averages 28 points a game, the same amount of assists. Mm -hmm. He was second all NBA. Yeah. He was yeah. fifth in the MVP vote. Yeah. Yeah. We gave up a guy, and Kyrie, we know he's an offensive juggernaut. Can, can handle the ball good at the rim with either hand, but skip considering that we had you, you had to and move he was him, killing in the fourth and quarter. Everybody man. knows you have to move him, so they were off, offering mop well, buckets. You, you didn't Max have to, you didn't yeah, yeah, have to. he had to you go. You had him under contract for the next because you don't want Bron to lump him up. Oh, okay. he does us no good lumped up. All right, my turn. The Boston Celtics won this trade just the way they're going to win the Eastern Conference next year. Oh, and man. yes, I put a case of due on that okay. right here, right now. Okay. This was an historic acquisition. And I'm not sure it's sinking into people's minds quite yet. I'm going to try to sink it a little deeper. Mm -hmm. Just okay. how historic this was. Do you know how exceedingly rare it is in the National Basketball Association's history that a player in his prime is actually available via trade? In his prime, by yeah. a trade. I mean, you, you, listen, when, when that happens, you have to pull out every stop. You have to do everything in your power to go get said player, especially when he's, in my view, a top five player. We could debate that all day. I got him top five. I'll, I'll go KD, Kawhi, LeBron. I'll Stop. give you Steph. Once, once you said, once you didn't I, have LeBron first, the, the okay. list was muck. Right. I'll give you Steph four, and then five's debatable between those three Damn. guards. Is it Westbrook? Is it Harden? Or is it Kyrie? I'm going to go Kyrie on just clutchness because he is or was the Cavs' closer. I ain't going front these highlights. He's the best fight. closer in basketball, and I'll take that as the fifth best player in the league. And the Boston Celtics. Cleveland's number one rival in the East just acquired Kyrie Irving, not just in his prime, he's just barely entering his prime at age 25. Man. This never happens. The last time there was a trade of this magnitude, mm. you'd have to go back to Mello leaving Denver, being traded to New York. Mm -hmm. Mello was 26, but he didn't exactly have superstar impact on the New York Knicks. Okay, So I think this is going to have more impact on Put Boston on than Mello had on New York. And if you want to go all the way back to the biggest trade in NBA history, you'd have to go back to Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. Yeah, from the Bucks. From the Bucks to the Lakers. Mm -hmm. And it was, it was the same circumstance. Kareem told him, I want out, man. I, I'm not going to stay here. I don't want to re-sign here. I got a year to go on my contract. Just get me out of here. And they basically, the Bucks did, traded Kareem Abdul-Jabbar to the Los Angeles Lakers for four J Crowders. That's basically what it was yeah. in the end. Okay, so, so that's magnitude. That, mm -hmm. that was historic. Yeah. This will turn out to be historic. So, in return, let's put this into perspective. The Cavs got back a ball-dominant point guard who's a defensive liability because he's only 5 feet 9 inches tall. So let's get this straight. Kyrie oh, is dominant. 6 feet 3 inches tall. And when Kyrie, Kyrie wants to play defense, oh. when he decides, oh, which we see him do in oh. the finals oh. against Steph Curry, we saw it two years ago when they came back from 3-1 down. I thought Kyrie played the hell out of the defensive end against Steph. He can do it when he feels like it. He doesn't always focus on that part of his game, but he is highly capable. The 5'9 guy is just simply not capable because he's just too little. I don't think he has a lot of desire to play defense anyway. Yeah. And by the way, 
he is so ball dominant that he had among guards the third highest usage rate in the NBA last year. Wow. How are you going to work that out, LeBron? How are you going to figure that one Same out? Same way LeBron worked it out with Kyrie. Oh, Kyrie was ball dominant before oh, LeBron got back. Okay. And what happened, Skip? Hmm. You know, Kyrie's basically a good guy who, who I think he deferred. I think he really said, okay, I... I give it up to you, King. I'm going to let you run the show. Yeah, he about to defer. That's why he's no longer a Cavalier. He, Isaiah has been used to running the show in Boston, and I think there's going to be a little clash of egos and wills. Nah, there, I there's doubt real, an no, adjustment more, no more so than what happened when Kyrie was, was and, there. And, by the way, Isaiah Thomas, if memory serves, is coming off a very serious hip injury chose not to and have surgery He's talked about and that. the shock of shocks to me yesterday was i saw a quote from a source inside the cab on espn.com who said we're eager for our doctors to take a look at isaiah's hip you're eager to take a look you didn't look at they didn't mean look at the brother got. is this not a big x factor brad stevens said on as recently as monday we don't expect isaiah to be ready they for dumb camp. as hell you sure man. about his hip lebron are you sure we as long as you have lebron you're going to be favored. Ain't a good East. trade if the brother At ain't healthy. He got still, Derek Rose. You have the unprotected pick from the Brooklyn okay, but, but I'm talking about LeBron That's... for next year. So he's okay. got a big X factor at the point guard. He got back a nice player in Jay Crowder. I like Jay Crowder. Yeah, Fourth Jay Crowder, he's, got, he's solid. Last solid. Year. Okay. Not bad, and he will defend. Yes. But is he a life changer, a game changer? He's just another bench player, well, I think. I don't know. Maybe he starts, he... but... Better okay, than Darren okay. Here's the thing. Again, Skip, the Cavaliers are operating from a position of weakness. Why is that? Be because it it's was... LeBron's fault. It is LeBron's fault. How? Because, because he would not commit long term to the Cleveland Cavaliers. So it forced Dan well, Gilbert, who's the de facto GM of the Cavaliers, because there's some 32 year old now in that position. Good job, he yeah, got 34 year old, I think he is. Anyway, the, the Dan Gilbert is saying, I got no choice. I got to go one direction where they've got a pick that I want. And the only team that has a pick that I want is my number one rival, the team that won the most games this past year in the Eastern Conference. Yep. The Boston Celtics have an unprotected high number one pick yep. belonging to Brooklyn. Yep. It could be. It could be that Marvin Bagley kid, yep. the number one recruiter went to Duke. I, I don't know. It just or the begins. guy that went to Missouri. Yeah. I think he transferred. Yeah. He was could going be, to Washington. One of those. So it could be a good player or it could not be a good You don't know. But it's you got a potential right. to have a top five, and then it's yeah. up to the lottery, right? Right. Okay. So I get that, but that's not going to help LeBron if, in fact, he's going to Los Angeles or going to San Antonio or wherever he's going to go. Because I mean, at least Cleveland would be year, solid. All he even got if LeBron was leave. the That's X good. factor point guard who's five feet nine, ball dominant defensive liability with a bad hip, and Jay Crowder and Zizic. And, and I don't know, Zizic is, is a Croatian kid, 6'11, but he hasn't played a, one dribble in the NBA yet. So I don't know what he is, a project? I don't know. Is it going to help LeBron next year? No. I think not. But Skip, you say uh, Isaiah Thomas is ball dominant. What was Kyrie before LeBron came back? Ball dominant? He was a baby. I ask a question. Yeah, see, was he ball dominant? Well, yes sure, or no? On a bad team, he was ball dominant. But my point is, Isaiah, to your point, is he, he's had lots of success. He's enjoyed for a long period of time being the man in Boston. It's not going to be that easy for him to say, oh, wait a second. And by the way, after one year, after next year, he's free. Yeah. And what has he already said? You better back up the Brinks truck, said Isaiah Thomas. Well, he really? Skip, that don't, that, don't, that don't put any fear in Dan Gilbert's heart. First of all, it was not Dan Gilbert. It was Kyrie requesting to be traded. So once he requested to be traded, let it known that he no longer wanted to play with LeBron James, You, LeBron's not going anywhere. I don't care if LeBron had Thanks. two months on his contract. They would rather get rid of Kyrie, who has two years plus an option, mm. which is three years, mm -hmm. than get rid of LeBron with two months. Okay. That so, just so. goes to show you. Bottom line, LeShannon Sharp. Yes. Cleveland got a little worse because they lost Kyrie Irving. And Boston got a lot better because they got Kyrie Irving. you got to boil it down to that. You yeah. can't disagree with yeah. that premise. Do so you think Cleveland's better right now? They, no. They're still no. going to win. Are they going to be the representatives of the Eastern Conference? No. Yes. No. Skip. You talk. You talk like Gordon Hayward is like that. You I talk never about said Al, that. Al Horford was 41st in rebounding as a 6'11 power forward. Think of this. He's talking you got crazy. Guards, Kyrie Irving and Gordon Hayward, who's not bad. Man. I never said he was great, but he's not bad. Okay. You got Al Horford in the post, and then you got a combination of Marcus uh, Morris. 
Marcus Morris is probably going to be your power forward, but you got those kids, Jalen Brown or Jason Tatum. Okay. They're, they're really talented kids who might just, uh, especially Jalen Brown is coming, and we saw Jason Tatum in the summer league. Yeah. They're going to make big noise. That's a talented five or six players. Yeah. You still got Marcus Smart and Terry Rozier and my guy Aaron Banks from San Antonio yeah. coming off the bench. That's just a better team than LeBron's got now. Yeah, you talk, Kyrie Irving you, is a Celtic. You keep talking about talent, but every guy in the NBA is talented. But I, I'm going to throw at you. I'm going to well, throw at Kyrie, James. man. Chill out. Then I'm, I'm going to add, add Kevin Love. Kevin Love was still 22. You don't like Kevin Love. It doesn't matter. He ain't do shit in the last game, man. Come on, man. Let's knock it off. He ain't do nothing in the NBA mind. Finals, God. man. He's not better than yeah, Al Horford. Al Horford had one season in which he's Al Horford could do a lot more things in the post. Like what? Everything. Like what? He's a better all around basketball player. I'll take him. He doesn't average more rebounds. I'll take him. I'll take him. But I'm saying, you keep telling me you'll take him, but what's. Better passer, better. He's just a better basketball player. I yeah. think Al Horford would have had a now? better NBA final than That's what this goes. motherfucking scrub. Kevin Love turned into a spot-up three-point shooter. That's what is Al Horford? Huh? What is Al Horford? He's not a spot-up three-point shooter. He's a 14-point, six-rebound-a-night power forward. You guys are in trouble now. You watch this your is, mind. Th this is some. That's stuff. not what Vegas you know, says. No. What did Vegas more say? Cakewalk. Man, what did Vegas, Vegas say? The odds man. at all. Exactly. exactly. So they tell you. Except they dropped LeBron's MVP odds, and they really dropped Isaiah Thomas's MVP odds, and they really dramatically increased Kyrie's MVP odds. I, Why would that be, Shannon? Skip, I told you. Woo. Once he saw w Russell Westbrook get the adoration that he got for not winning a title, he's like, I can do that. Plus, he had the he has the ring already in his pocket. Yeah. All I'm saying, if he was so good, why didn't Vegas move them from ten to one? They're the exact same thing they were Monday, yesterday, ten to one. Why is that, Skip? That don't mean they got nothing, an MVP right? that's on the rise. They got Al Horford that's on Vegas the rise. Vegas said they Golden State was going to win that game. Really they play, lost, but man. they're still Knock ten to one. Why, Skip? Because they're waiting to see <laughs> how Al Khalif, uh, both teams will come back Hold together. On. That's not how yeah. Vegas does it. Vegas said the I odds. love this team. I don't care what the odds are. This team is better. Boston is better than it was, and Cleveland is worse than it was. It, it, explain how that's wrong. Explain it, because you can't. Skip. Cleveland's not as good as Cleveland was. You Cle lost Kyrie. Cleveland got a score. They, okay, Kyrie averaged 25, Isaiah averaged 28. Facts. He's not going to average 28 with LeBron James, but he'll still be somewhere in the mid-20s. Now you also got a defender, and you also get an unprotected. This is what we know. This is not a ping-pong tournament, but the Brooklyn Nets will have a lot of ping-pong balls because yeah. they're going to be terrible again. I don't care if they got DeMar Kerr. I don't care if they got uh, uh, D'Angelo Russell because as soon as oh, man. Russell gets dirt on one of Talking the teams, they're going to put mm -hmm. and they're going to fall apart again. Well, they got Alan Crabby. Root. Uh, you talking greasy. So all of that, you have to root against I them. ain't rooting against nobody. Yeah, you are. All I'm saying is as long I as think the Brooklyn Cavaliers gonna be have actually LeBron good, James, okay. they'll be just fine. Mm -hmm. And all I know is that Kyrie got his ultimate wish because not only does he get to go to a good team with a fine young coach yeah. and a great tradition, yeah. he gets an opportunity to go head to head with the guy he oh, does I can't not wait care that. for, oh, the that's guy he crazy. wanted out of. And guess what, Skip? Kyrie said, bring on LeBron James. Do you think Kyrie vetoed this trade? No, he said, please, I want to reach. He, he got no veto power. Well, well he could have to told Boston, I will not re-sign long-term so, there. So he said, I am committed to the Celtics because he is committed to taking down an aging LeBron James. How many guys? Here he comes. There are three guys in the NBA, NBA that have a no-trade clause. Mm -hmm. Dirk Nowitzki, one Carmelo Anthony, mm -hmm. and who might the other one be, Skip? I don't know. You know who it is. Call me Brown. LeBron James. The guy who just sabotaged his own chances next year by not committing long term to Cleveland. Because Cleveland could have gotten a better deal if it didn't need that draft pick. It needed the draft pick to secure its future in case LeBron is not part of its future. So, LeBron, good luck next year. LeBron said, Dan Gilbert, Kyrie, y'all do y'all. I'm going to do me. I'm committed to the 2017 into the 2018 all right well um hopefully y'all like the video man uh i think it was a good trade on both ends don't get me wrong um boston celtics did lose uh avery bradley jay crowder good defense um but they got Kyrie. i mean isaiah thomas like um skip said he's not really they didn't check if he was 100 percent healthy then you got derrick rose with his you know 
I don't know. Hopefully the chemistry, because sometimes when you trade up, you know, trade people, the chemistry might not be there. Even with Kyrie, so the, it might be not be there. So you know, it all depends. But um, y'all let me know what y'all think about this. Um, Skip be wildin', Shannon be wildin', uh, Scry comment. More videos coming out soon, man.